It's a. Uh, it's always amusing, kind of like uh, Crossroads. It's always amusing where people draw their line. Like, yep, oh, all right, and yeah, I'm that's done. right. I've been hanging with this show for however long, and they 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 need to tell you about it, right? About oh, yeah. how they're not going to listen anymore. Right. The, latest, the latest one. Yeah, we're talking about. Um, I said, hey, add add to my list a job I would never want: therapist. Therapist. And we started talking about, you know, mm -hmm. therapy and blah blah blah. Somebody said uh, nine four nine. Sorry, you lost a listener during that psychoanalysis discussion. I dialed out. I guess I chose to quote move on rather than catch up. Like, <laughs> hey? what? What? Your uh -oh. experience with a therapist makes them leave. Okay. Or uh, yeah, just like we're. I was saying I was watching that show um, with uh, Jason Siegel and Harrison Ford. It's on yeah. Apple TV Plus. It's called Shrinking. I thought right. it was a really good show, and you know, kind of thought train from there. But yeah, that that did it. Huh. That was uh, it. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> zero controversy. That's so random. Yeah. That's so random. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, what do you, I mean, what are you going to do? You win some, you lose yeah. some, you know? Okay, bye. So weird. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. For, uh... I mean, maybe it's a bad day, wrong side of the bed kind of yeah. thing. But again, interesting where people decide Ooh. to draw the line. Oh. Uh, the other thing I brought up is I had a, uh, a an alert set for if and ever my grandma's house went on sale. I wanted to buy it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to, uh, you know do like a, a a remodel on it and then rent it out or I don't know, Airbnb, something. But just, I, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to have the house. I, this big part of my uh, my childhood memories, uh -huh. you know, my grandma's yeah. house. And as we were talking about this recently, I went on to uh, Zillow and it said sold <gasps> October yeah. 6th. It just sold. I never got mm -hmm. the alert. That it went on the market. You mean. Yeah. That it went on the market. Weird. How do you set that up sucks. an alert for that? Um, there's a couple different ways to do it. You could do it through, uh, sorry, Greg, I'm going to butcher the word, Real, realtor.com. So you nailed it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> he gets mad. Uh, people when say realtor. Real Real uh, realtor. 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 What's a realtor? I don't know. Person sells houses. Somebody yeah. sells jewelry. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea who <laughs> that is. Yeah. Anyway, but. Um, well, learn to speak. Yeah. So this. <laughs> This has sparked, and so I was so bummed out about, you know, missing out on this house. Mm -hmm. Guess who uh, got ignited by it? Sammy. Oh. This has become mm -hmm. her pet project. <laughs> she has gone and done all this, like, research and digging. She's made phone calls. I did, yeah. I looked in to find out who the realtors were uh, with, with this whole transaction, the person who bought it. I found out She found the guy's Instagram it. who bought it. Wow. Yeah, wow. I, ca I, call, I called. How'd you find the guy's Instagram? Uh, I because just I think it was on Zillow that said you know the buyer realtor and his name was there so then I googled his name and his Instagram <laughs> popped right up with oh, all of his information. Okay, on so it. Uh, it's not the homeowner's uh, Instagram, right? But when gotcha. the house sold, the realtor posted Dang. you know a picture uh, of uh, like you know just sold mm -hmm. to my friend you know and he said the right. name of his friend yeah that kind of thing so so I reached out. Yeah. So <laughs> so escrow's mm -hmm. over. He already owns. Yes, it. he does. How much did it sell for? Uh, one ninety. Nice. One ninety. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it was listed for like two fifteen or something like that. I would have came in all cash offer. There would have been no contingency. <laughs> mm -hmm. None mm -hmm. of that stuff. I would have had that house. I'm so bummed out. Is it completely done? The deal. The deal is done. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. would you have done like a property brothers thing where you show up with a sledgehammer and try to like. Do repairs and well, no. It. I mean, I I have ideas of like what I would want to do, mm -hmm. um. But I mean, I guess that's yeah. We could have made a web series called Grandma's House. <laughs> we talked about that, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, not that I'd be. I I really just I don't know. There's there's something. Um, I don't know. There there there's something that just like in my in my mind, like like you feel it. Like I just I feel like I need to own that house. But, but we I, can still go in. I mean, I have the contact. Yeah. I'm like, you can still buy it. We can make an offer. I say right. we, but if, you can make an offer. Had, if, if the deal hadn't closed already, it'd be a lot easier. True. Yeah, yeah. but it doesn't mean like they've done anything yet. They haven't done anything, but they, he's like, probably moved, moved in. in. Maybe tell the if buyer. It closed, if it closed on October 6th, he's probably moved in. And yeah, but if you make it worth it for him to move out. Yeah, but how much is that? I mean, yeah, because you got to well, throw that's, in yeah. so much. I'm, okay, I tell you, my mom did this with her parents' house 20 years ago. One thing led to another. She doesn't talk to her sisters anymore. So yeah, just well, did they, okay. bullet here. Yeah, but did they go in on it together? No, I think they're she bought it, drama. and then she was going kind of what he was doing. She was like, she would go up there for weeks at a time, do mm -hmm. remodels and yeah. that sort of thing. I think she gave it to one of her sisters to live in. One thing led to another. Oh, okay, they don't talk yeah. to each other anymore. Oh, see, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about doing that. Your aunt Chrissy could move in. 
Well, no. So the thing is, um, I don't want to be a landlord per se. Like, I don't want to do any of that work. So I was thinking, like, my Uncle Tim, who's married to my Aunt Chrissy, yeah. he is a property manager. And the building that he manages is literally within walking distance of my grandma's house. What? There in Mount Lebanon. Do it. Buy it. But how much? Right? Like, because yeah. the well, guy was. You don't know until you call. The guy was explaining, you know, the guy got like a, was it a VA loan or? Yeah, he, he got a, a first time home buyer loan. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there was a lot of incentives with that. So obviously, if he sells this house right now, it's not going to be, he won't be able to get a first time home buyer loan again. Mm. Um, I have it written down somewhere. I forget exactly what kind <laughs> she of loan had he all has. This oh, I have it all. I have it all written down. Yeah, that he told yeah. you all that. Well, no, that was in his Instagram post. I found all that out from Instagram to begin with, and then wow. I just called him and was like, hey, I saw this. And I this noticed that. This is how that. people get scammed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they yeah. put out right. yeah. Then they can <laughs> call and say, hey, I'm, I'm from the VA she, loan office. Right, she, you know, she, she told me. She came and she goes, security. all right, so I have some information. I called the guy. I said, hey, I'm calling about the house on Altoona. Uh-huh. And she's mm-hmm. like, oh, John, or whatever the guy's name was. She goes, oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you like, hi. <laughs> Sammy the detective. The investigative work is pretty good. Yeah. But if and he it bought was it, quick. But if I he mean, bought I, it for yeah. 190 yeah. he's owned it for a month. If I came in with an offer, because this would cover like closing costs and everything else. If, if I gave him an offer of like, do you think he'd accept 230 mm. Uh, Maybe. I think he would. That's yeah. about break even, though, because when she's right. talking about, co- you know, real realtor costs. And-, <laughs> and if you haven't lived there for, for, t- for that guy? He didn't pay anything. He he's the he's the buyer. But he will on the, yeah. on the back end. Like right. how much did he no, but put he, down? But, if, but we're if, talking about a, we're talking about a, a two hundred thousand dollar house. But it hasn't been his primary residence for two years. He'd get screwed on taxes. Right. Yep. Really? Yeah. So maybe make him an offer that in two years from now you'll buy it. Because that go. that would be a big profit in two years. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. Why would he get screwed on taxes? I thought that was only if you didn't buy another house right after. Well, he's probably in the market to buy a house. But he's no? got to live somewhere. <laughs> but yeah. Right, but that's what but I'm saying. Have to, buy yeah. him up. It I has to that, be yeah. your primary residence Just put him in years. like an extended stay or something. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, otherwise, otherwise you're paying it's capital considered gains. Income, yeah. To, yeah. income property. Yeah, let me buy it now. You can live there for the two oh, years. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, I see. Or like, you know. You can yeah, you can home. still stay. Yeah, but we have an agreement that you're selling it to me in two years. Like, that way he can't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so pissed. That stupid <laughs> notification. Alert. That's garbage. That's a word. Realtor. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. The was, realtor alert. Yeah. I was listening I, I've been to thinking a, about this for years. To some story about how some woman had like this really prestige apartment in Paris. And so this guy wanted to live there and said, you can live here for the remainder of your life. She was already like 85, but let me buy it now. And then she outlived him. She lived to wow. be like a hundred. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. So she lived there rent free for like oh my god twenty five plus. Years. The joke yeah. is on you. This is gonna sound so dumb, mm-hmm. but and this is the other part of it is that my grandma didn't have a lot, and she, like, first of all, was able to own her own home after you know getting divorced at a time where it was very difficult, yeah. and uh, what she did for my mom and for my uh, my uncles, and she took such great care of that house. Like, Ravi was over there when mm-hmm. uh, she was still living there. When uh, he would have chores. She she took such great care of that house, and it bums me out that the people who owned it before were not, because I drive by it every time, you know, I'm in that area. And it bums me out that, you know, things got so out of control that I want mm-hmm. to restore, restore it, it to uh, a place where she would be proud of it and where it could live on because she took such great care of it. Like, it, like, it makes me feel good thinking about it. We used to and sit there and chat at that table while yeah. Woody would cut the grass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And as soon as I get inside, all the leaves would be on the ground again. I'm like, damn it. <laughs>